Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say good morning everyone, both the East and West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today. Here on Thursday, I'm guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up, starting tomorrow on Friday. And for this video today, uh, what I want to talk about is real life status. Um, a, oh, I want to live a lot of reveals, cancer diagnosis, and the update to that. So let's go right into it. The two links will be description down below. Both are from Soap Opera Digest. The first one is posted. Yeah. Both of them are posted on the 15th of November, 2016. This was posted on uh, Tuesday of this week. And it says, uh, Eddie Alderson, ex Matthew Wendland Let to Live, revealed on Instagram that he has been uh, he has been diagnosed with uh, lymphoma. Quote, this weekend it has been cr a crazy one to say the least, he posted. Some of you may already know, but Friday I was diagnosed with lymphoma, cancer, and will begin chemotherapy sometime this week. While this journey will not be easy, I know that together with all my family and friends, we will beat this. Just a bump in the road on this crazy ride we call life. I will keep all of you updated as we go along. Our thoughts are with the Allison family. This isn't the first land we alum to share medical news in the past few months. In August, Allison's former co-star Cassie DePeva, ex Blair, ex Eve of Days of Our Lives, announced that she was being treated for acute uh, myeloid leukemia. My so far digest. Then we go to the next one. Uh, health update on Want to Live alum a Eddie Allison. Eddie Allison, the ex Matthew Want to Live, who revealed earlier today that he had been diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, has been officially diagnosed with Hot, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. His sister Kristen Allison, ex star Want to Live, ex Kiki at Joan Hospital, reported on social media and that it is very treatable. Quote, very treatable, and that her brother was also being released from the hospital and would start chemotherapy on Monday by Soap Opera Digest. So, um, I just wanted to send my best wishes and prayers and thoughts to um, the Allison family, uh, Kirsten Allison and, and Eddie Allison too. Of course, you know, cancer, you know, cancer sucks. I mean, you know, it's just hard to, you know, um, really grapple around the fact that you have cancer and you feel scared, you feel afraid of what's going to happen next. But I'm glad that Eddie is going to get treatment. I'm glad he's going to fight this to the very bitter end. So uh, fight this until the end. And I just want to, um, again, just send my best wishes and prayers and thoughts to uh, the Allison family and Eddie too. Um, I know that he can beat this. I know that he is strong and I know that he can do it. I remember watching him on Want to Live when he played Matthew Buchanan, and uh, I did enjoy him in the role, even though I felt that sometimes the writing for his character was a little bit, you know, here and there, hit and miss, whiny too when he was, when Matthew was paralyzed, um, but, you know, he was trying to adjust to life uh, being in a wheelchair. Uh, so, um, yeah, you know, and if you guys know anyone that has cancer or uh, has just found out that it's cancer, be there for that person, support that person, love that person, make sure the person gets the best support he or she needs because cancer is not easy to beat and it takes a long time, but I'm very confident, like I said before, that, that Eddie can pull this off, including, um, uh, including, you know, um, including, uh, Cassidy Paper too. So, uh, tell me in the console, guys. Um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel as always. Uh, please leave your, um, comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel as always, and until next time, I'm Zane saying peace, take care. I will see you guys there for history coming up later on this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, or in coming minutes, so stay tuned. So, until next time, take care. Bye.